aka Tonal Makeup Junkie 101 and welcome back to Monday Fun Day on my channel. If you guys haven't been keeping up with my Monday Fun Day videos, it is basically where I have a beauty video every Monday on my channel and I have a corresponding giveaway on my social media pages. So today I'm going to be talking about a lip product. No shock there. You guys all know I'm kind of obsessed with lip products. I'm talking about a lip product that I should have talked about a while ago, but I am really, really late to do this. I am sorry. And the products I'm talking about are the new Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stains. And like I said, I'm really, really late to the bandwagon on this product. These have been out for quite a few months now, and back when they first initially came out, I did actually grab a couple shades, but I didn't even try them until recently. I don't know why I did that. I just bought a couple shades, I put them in my collection, and I honestly just kind of forgot about them. People kind of talked about them, and I kept thinking, oh my gosh, I still need to try them. I didn't actually break them out until just a few weeks ago, and since that time, I have a accumulated all of the shades that they offer in the collection. There are 12 different shades and the fact that I got all of them, I mean, you guys know me. I'm kind of a lip product junkie so I do usually buy full collections of lip products but um, the reason I did actually buy the entire collection of these lip products is because I do really, really love them. The reason I wanted to actually film and post a review for you guys, just from my own personal opinion, is because these products have been getting really, really mixed reviews on YouTube. I've noticed some people love them, say they are like holy grail lip gloss status, and some people despise them and say they are like the worst thing to ever enter the makeup world and I am clearly on the side of they are like the best product ever. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys all 12 of the colors that Revlon offers in this color stay moisture stain formula. I'm going to be talking about the packaging, the formula, the price, and everything else so stay tuned. Starting off with the packaging it comes in this really nice sleek square container here. On the front you do say it says Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain in white writing and the bottom of it does have a sticker that corresponds to the actual color inside the tube. It has the number and the name of the shade on it. And when you first initially purchase these they do actually have a sticker seal on the back like this so you can see if someone has opened the product and tested it which I I really really like. The cap just twists off like a traditional lip gloss tube and this is the applicator you are getting. So it is a very very interesting flat applicator but it still has a really good amount of surface space on it as you can see and it comes up to a point and I am actually in love with this applicator. I think that this applicator makes the actual formula of this gloss infinitely better. So as for the formula of this lip gloss, it is a very, very unique formula. It is not heavy or thick on the lips by any means. Once you get it onto your lips, you can feel something is there, but it's not thick or sticky. Formula doesn't remind me of any other high-end lip gloss that I have ever tried. Once you put it onto your lips, it goes on almost like a jelly consistency. It's very, very um, slick and thin. And then once it kind of dries down, it gets a little tacky, but it's not super tacky. It is a little bit like the YSL Glossy Stains. I know I'm going to get questions on if this is a dupe. I have to say it is not an exact dupe because it is not as shiny as the YSL Glossy Stains and it is much more pigmented. Once this gloss kind of dries down, it almost turns into sort of like a rubbery texture, which I know is going to kind of freak people out. This is going to be where you either love it or hate it because it kind of almost turns into like a rubber it doesn't bleed on your lips it doesn't really transfer anywhere it doesn't dry completely rubber so it's still movable it doesn't peel off your lips or anything weird like that don't think anything like that but it 
gives it kind of like a grip so it doesn't just move around it doesn't transfer around it doesn't you know fade quickly I will tell you that these glosses do not swatch well if you swatch them on your hand right when you get them I can almost guarantee that you will be disappointed in the swatches because they kind of swatch patchy sheer and almost clumpy and you'll see what I mean when I show you guys up close hand swatches as I show them all to you on my lips but when you swatch them on your hands it's almost like the product needs to be really blended and really just kind of pushed into the lips the heat of your lips will kind of naturally just melt the product a little bit into your lips and it'll just go into every nook and cranny in your lips it doesn't make your lips look liney or you know veiny or anything like that you get a really nice even application but I will say it's not one of those just quick slap on the top lip slap on the bottom lip press your lips together and run out the door. You definitely want to take the time to use the applicator and really just massage it into the lips. That's the way you're going to get the best application, the most even application, and the longest wear time. I found that these wear for a good four to five hours on my lips before I feel the need to touch up. If you are eating something oily throughout the day, you might find that the lip product does break down a lot quicker with the oils in your food. So just keep that in mind you will have to reapply this is a gloss after all however this product does claim to be a moisture gloss stain so I want to touch on each of those items as far as the moisture I have to say I don't think it moisturizes that much it is nothing compared to a moisturizing lip balm but I also find that it does not dry out my lips so in the moisture aspect I wouldn't give it a very high ranking as far as the gloss I would say that it is a medium glossy shine it's not the glossiest lip gloss I have but it's also not the dullest lip gloss but I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that it has a lot of pigment in the gloss so the actual glossiness doesn't shine through as much then as far as the stain I do find that this lip gloss does have a really good staining capability um, the darker and brighter and more vivid shades will obviously stain your lips for longer and a nicer color. The lighter shades or the more neutral nude shades don't stain your lips at all, I found. So as far as, you know, these brighter pinks, the darker reds, the berries, I do find that those do leave a good stain on your lips for a couple of hours after the initial product has worn off. But I will say that this is not one of those products that you can put on and then wipe off immediately and expect there to be a stain on your lips because there Will not be this product actually needs a few hours to almost kind of sink into your lips and your lips will kind of retain some of that pigment after it's been sitting and kind of meshing with your lips for a good amount of time another thing I want to say about this product is the color in the tube that you see is not always the color you are going to get on your lips while this color in the tube is actually the color of the product on the applicator because this is a clear tube the difference I have found is once you actually get it on your lips and it kind of mixes with your natural body chemistry and the heat from your lips, most of the colors actually darken up quite a bit. And what works in that aspect is that even the lighter and brighter shades, the shades that normally wouldn't work for my skin tone, surprisingly work really well on me. So now I'm going to jump into an individual review on all 12 of the colors that Revlon offers in this Color Stay Moisture Stain line. I will show them all to you on my lips as well as up close swatches on my hand. This first shade is called London Posh and this is the lightest shade in the entire collection and it is also one that has some shimmer in it. Most of them do not have any shimmer, but this one does. This is kind of a lighter, neutral, peachy type color. 
I didn't think from looking at this in the tube that it would really flatter my skin tone, but it actually looks really, really nice. It just kind of blends into my natural lips. It doesn't look like too much. It doesn't look like too little. The shimmer actually adds a little bit of dimension that I didn't expect to look very good, but I really actually love it. This next shade on my lips is Milan Moment, and this one is a very, very neutral toned, light, nudie, peach type color. On my lips, I love it. It is such a nice, it almost looks like a burnt orange in the tube, but on your lips, it goes on kind of like a neutral peach. And because it does have kind of that burnt tone, it doesn't look too light on my lips, so I love it. This next shade is called LA Exclusive, and looking at this one in the tube, once again, I wasn't sure about how this one would look on my lips because it is a very, very light baby Barbie doll pink, and it actually looks really, really nice on my lips. I really love it. This one isn't as pigmented or opaque as a lot of the other ones in the collection, so when it goes on your lips, it doesn't look too blotchy or patchy or chalky. Um, sometimes these kind of very, very light pinks can look really, really bad on my lips, and this one looks really nice and really, really wearable. Next shade is Rio Rush, and this one is a very, very bright, corally pink. It definitely pulls more on the pink side than the orange side, but it does have a little bit of coral in it, so it's not a true hot pink. This one is one of my all-time favorites from the collection. It is so beautiful, and while it is so bright and punchy, it's not at all unwearable, so I love it. This next shade is India Intrigue, and this one is Similar to the last one I showed you, but it is deeper. This one is another hot pink, but it has more plum tones in it. So it's a lot more subdued, a little bit less neon and bright, and just more deep, beautiful for the fall time now that we're going into the fall. It's a perfect summer to fall transition color. So this one is a keeper. This next shade is Barcelona Nights, and this one is just your perfect pinky red color. It is is still bright enough to be perfect for summertime but it is still deep enough to work for the fall time as well it is another really beautiful classic shade the next shade is Kane's crush and this one looks like a very very bright orangey coral in the tube but it comes across more as a darkened corally red on the lips it comes across with a lot more red than it looks like here it is still absolutely beautiful. This is another really, really pretty fall shade because it isn't too bright, but it does deliver some punch on the lips. This next shade is Miami Fever, and in the tube, this one looks neon, neon orange. And you guys can see how it actually translates over to my lips. It pulls quite a bit darker with more red in it. So this one is your classic bright reddened orange. This is a perfect summer red, and it's also really, really beautiful to transition into fall time. This next shade is Shanghai Sizzle, and this one is the brightest red in the collection. This one is like a bright cherry tomato fire engine red. It is so, so stunning. If you guys are looking for a really, really punchy red color, this is it. And this is one of the best formulated ones out of the entire collection as well. It is super, super, super pigmented. This next shade is Stockholm Chic. And this one is kind of like a burnt toffee type color. This is probably my least favorite out of the entire collection. Not because the color doesn't flatter me, but because the color isn't one I generally gravitate towards. I don't normally like kind of burnt browns, I guess, but um, if you do like those kinds of colors and they are really, really popular for the fall time, you may really enjoy this one. Next one is called New York Scene, and this one is the red in the collection. I know there were a couple of reds that were actually in this collection, but if you guys want just one red, get this one. It is just the perfect, deep, pinup red 
classic red. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. It's perfect for every occasion, every season. This is a must have. This next shade is Parisian Passion and this one is the darkest one in the collection. This one is kind of a really really dark burgundy wine color and it does have a little bit of purple tones in it too so it does pull kind of berry. This one is really really beautiful once again for the fall time. I know I said that about a lot of these shades but while this collection did come out in the summertime I do feel like a lot of the shades are very appropriate appropriate for fall and this is one of them. So those were all 12 of the shades swatched on my lips. I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, overall, wrapping up this review, I have to say I do love these. These are really, really nice glosses for the drugstore. These retail for $9.99 a piece, which is quite expensive for a drugstore lip gloss, I have to say. However, you can find them slightly cheaper at Target and Walmart, and I would honestly just wait for the drugstore like Rite Aid, Walgreens, or CVS to have a buy one get one half off or a 40% off on Revlon products. So those are my overall thoughts on these Revlon lip products. I will be wearing them through the remaining couple weeks of summer and through fall because a lot of these shades are very, very fall appropriate. And speaking of fall appropriate shades, it is now time for Monday Fun Day giveaway. So the two shades I'm going to be giving away in my Monday Fun Day are the really, really beautiful Berry Pink, which is India Intrigue, and the red that I'm actually wearing on my lips right now, the one that I said you guys need if you want a red lip product. This one is New York Scene. And I'm only giving away two this week. One will be given away on my Twitter page and one will be given away on my Instagram. So be sure to check the description box down below for rules on how to enter. Those posts on my Twitter and Instagram will be going up really, really soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the lip swatches and I will catch you guys on Thursday. Bye! Shimmer, glitter, just something that adds a lot of light to your eyeshadow. All of the products are housed in this really, really cute box here, and you can see it's got the blue in it.